Hi, this is Phil from United House Wrecking. We're going to do something a little different today. We got in this 1950s Philco TV. The cord was cut. There was a couple missing pieces. So instead of trying to restore this TV, we're going to use the cabinet, take out the guts, and make a fish tank out of it. Okay, so let's see what we got in the back. So this most probably had a back panel that was taken off. And as you can see, you got the CRT, the cathode ray tube here. This is going to need to be removed. You got to be careful. It can be a little dangerous. I'll explain more about that later. And we have all the uh, interior guts. Okay, so two things of warning before you get into a project like this with the older televisions, even some of the newer televisions that are the tube televisions, it does have a capacitor that will hold the charge. So you want to make sure that it's been discharged. In this case, this has been done. Um, another thing is that. The CRT, the actual tube of the television, has a vacuum in it. And if it were to shatter, if you scratch it or break it, glass can fly out. So wear some goggles when you remove it. Or if you see here, if I remove this cap, you'll see a little nipple at the end of this uh, of the tube. That's where it was sealed off when they sucked out the air. So if you gently break that, allow the air to come back in, the tube will be uh, safe to remove. So we're going to go ahead and rip all this out now that it's safe and uh, make room for our fish tank. So let's get started. Okay, so we have the top off, we've measured the space inside the cabinet, so we know what kind of fish tank we can get in here in terms of size. So I'm going to give my friend Rob a call from Greenwich Aquarium in Riverside and see what kind of fish he recommends for a tank of this size. Okay, we're here in Greenwich Aquarium in Riverside. We're going to meet my friend Rob, he's going to help us out. Hi Rob, how's What's it up, going? Phil? How's it going? I got an interesting project for us, it's going to be pretty neat. I got a 1950s Philco television, I gutted it, I want to put a fish tank inside it. Sounds like a great idea. All right, let me show you what I got. All right, let's take a look. So I got the television here, and, and basically, you know, the interior cube, it's like a cube, the cabinet. It's real solid, and I figure we could put something real nice in there, make it look real cool, drop a tank right in front of where the tube used to be, and it's gonna look awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. We'll do some uh, like plants and some rocks as the aquascape, and you know really make it look like a natural uh, ecosystem. Yeah, and like then we'll that. put some cool fish in there, like we got the neon tetras, and we got some of the guppies. Those guys are real cool. I like those guys. Yeah, they got a lot of great color, and uh, their fins really flicker, so they're really eye-catching. All right, Rob. So where do we get started? Well, first we gotta put the aquarium in the TV, <laughs> and then from there we'll hook up the filtration. We'll put in the gravel. We'll put in the decorations, and then uh, add water and fish. All and right, we should be all set to go. Cool. Let's get this tank in there. All right. All right. So now we got the aquarium in place. Uh, we got our backing on, and we got our filtration set up and our lights hooked up. So now we're going to add the gravel and the decorations. That's the fun part. Yep. Cool. Rob, I got to say, it came out even better than I could have imagined. Thank you so much for your help. Everyone, if you like what you see, come see Rob at Greenwich Aquarium in Riverside. Come visit the tank here at the store, United House Wrecking. Rob, there's just one more thing. Check out what I did. I wired the TV knobs to control the lights. It's awesome. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>